It's always hard to get across to people starting to work with horses just how potentially dangerous they can be. They look very sweet, um, and most of them are, but this is still an animal that thinks of itself as a creature of prey. So you've got a thousand pound animal, give or take, and you've got this extremely strong flight or panic response. So the littlest thing can make a horse that's normally sweet and wonderful behave in a very dangerous way. So in, in the vast majority of cases that I'm familiar with where people have been hurt, it's because they suddenly stop thinking of the horse as this creature that might panic at any second. So as you're working around the horse, as you watch Chris, you'll see that she's always keeping a hand on the horse or talking to the horse so the horse knows exactly where she is. What she doesn't want to do is startle the horse. The other thing about a horse to remember is they see extremely well along their sides. They have a lot of peripheral vision, but it's not real sharp vision. So they see movement, they see shadows, but they don't necessarily see that it's you coming up behind them versus a dog coming up behind them. When, you're looking, when the horse is looking out front, they have fairly limited binocular vision where they see quite well, and right behind them, they don't see at all. So when we're going behind a horse, we try not to pause overly long while we're right behind the horse. We try to have a hand on their hip and walk behind them. In this situation, there's not a lot of room behind the horse, so we might most of the time elect to simply walk around the front of the horse when we're changing sides.